Hey guys, how's it going? All right, Pierce has been all over CNN with his anti-gun stuff, so I thought I'd talk about it. Obviously, I disagree with him wholeheartedly concerning the uh, gun debate, but the biggest problem I have with him is his understanding of the Second Amendment, and it seems to me that a lot of people misunderstand exactly what the Second Amendment is about. I keep hearing these people say they support the Second Amendment, but yet they're suggesting that we should have a limited amount of bullets, a limited number of bullets that can fit into our guns. Basically, they just want us to be much weaker than we are right now. My point with this video is to point out that Pierce Morgan really believes that the American people are too stupid to have guns, and that is exactly why he thinks that we should have gun control. He doesn't want to talk about sensible regulations he doesn't want to talk about, you know, what might help in a, in a situation. He just wants to demagogue, like the guy says here. And I'm going to go ahead and play that clip, and I wanted to talk about it. An average civilian An average who hasn't got a civilian. criminal record okay. or is mentally ill, why do they need one? To protect against the possibility of eventual government tyranny. This was the purpose of the Second Amendment originally. It remains the purpose of the Second Amendment now. And pretending that governments have never gone usurpatious before from a dem you democratic position. Do you genuinely believe your own government is going to turn on you in a way that you require? It may not turn on you. So here, is, here he is. You know, he said throughout this, this uh, discussion that he absolutely, you know, he agrees and, and supports the Second Amendment. But then right here he's saying, he's asking as if it's absurd to even suggest that there's a possibility that your government could go rogue at some point in history that uh, obviously he doesn't have a clue what the Second Amendment's about. If he did, I mean, if he, if he had any idea of American history, I mean, the most basic American history class, if it doesn't, it always did when I was growing up, we had a basic understanding of the Bill of Rights and what the Second Amendment means, how the Second Amendment was the thing that put the teeth in the Constitution, put the teeth in the Bill of Rights so that, so that the government knows the people have a reasonable way to change the rules. That's how we keep our government fair and honest. And because we're typically people that don't want to stir things, we'll put up with a lot of abuses from the government. But at some point, the people are going to stop and they're going to say, no more, at some point. I mean, it, you, you know, you, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. You know what I mean? It's not the, the two tons of, of straw that you set up there. It's that last one. 15 to challenge them. This it is may what not, you really believe it is may not turn on me. It may not turn on my America. children. Is it that what not, you think? It may not turn on me. It may not turn on my children. Mm. But the fact is this. History is replete with democracies going tyrannical. Mm. It has happened It happened in France in the 19th century. It happened in Spain in the last century. Okay. It happened in Germany. It happened in Italy. Okay. It has happened repeatedly throughout so the, It happened in Japan. The reason we cannot remove AR-15 assault weapons is because the threat of your own government I think he made that really, really clear to you, Piers Morgan. But for some reason, you know, it's like going in one ear and out the other. And you, you keep asking as if, you know, you just cannot believe that. But this isn't the main thing. You, you got to hear this. This is, you know, now we're getting to the really good stuff of what's in Pierce's head turning on you in a tyrannical way. It is be yes, it is because that is your it, position. it is because there are countervailing okay. rights and responsibilities. And okay. we I, 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 what, no, I think Pierce, made, I don't understand why we can't position, come to a, why can't we come to an agreement about reasonable you, law? You just you want to demagogue something? the issue. You have made your point crystal clear. People aren't stupid, they can make up their own minds. And as you can see, he doesn't think that the American people are very bright. He says people aren't stupid, they can make up their own minds. But you know what he really means and what he believes. He believes that the American people are too stupid. That's why we have a Second Amendment. He really believes that the American people should not be in a position of power over their government. But you got to wonder, why is it that he feels compelled 
to come to America if America is such a terrible country? If the way that our government is set up and the way that we have it set up is such a bad thing, why is it that he's here? Well, you know, if, if England is such a beautiful, wonderful place where there's no crime at all, according to him, but we know it's the most violent nation in all of Europe or the EU, he is, he, you know, he doesn't want to be there, obviously. And I don't know, you know, what his residence is, but I would guess he probably lives in New York or one of the bigger cities where there's more crime. And he feels awkwardly uncomfortable with people from the country who are people from areas that, w that have almost no crime, zero crime. I'm for everybody having their right to their opinion, and he's welcome to his opinion. But I don't like the way that he talks down to people who disagree with him, especially Americans, who he tries to... Uh, come across as less than he is. But the main point of this, of this whole video is that Pierce Morgan has no idea what the Second Amendment's about, and if he did, he would quit asking over and over all of his guests, well, is it really? Can it really mean that it's so that you can protect yourselves from a tyrannical government that you actually think that at some point your government might turn tyrannical? Yes, Piers Morgan, one last time, one last person to tell you. Or maybe you could read a book. Good talking to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.